Hi everyone, it's Leanne. It's Friday, April 19th. I'm back in the Who Are You Valley. Yesterday I found a really big pine tree that had been ripped up its side, starting about 14 feet up. And I did a, a video of just showing the pieces and the strength that it would, well, I can't even describe the strength, but just the incredible strength that would have been required to to rip the side off of a tree like that. So I'm back today because I noticed that there was one big piece of wood that didn't seem to fit on the uh, on the tree. So I'm looking for another pine tree that's had a big chunk of its side ripped off. So I hope to be able to show you. Hope you're having a nice Friday. I'm back at this superhuman cheese stringed pine and I'm back at these pieces that have been broken off. Now what occurred to me once I got home is that these pieces here you seem to fit that chunk that's been taken out but this one large piece here seems to have come from a different tree. So I'm here this morning to look for that tree and figure out how this may be got right here because there's no tree in this immediate area that has that but then take a look here as well so there's lots of big pines here right here there's another piece I didn't see this yesterday look how long that is holy moly big 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 piece so where did that come from how did that get ripped off it's just remarkable so I'm here to look for a tree with missing missing trunk pieces. All right, wish me well. Still looking around for that pine, but on a side note, I've just come to check up on this structure. I was here two days ago and I sat on the log right here and made a phone call and um, spent maybe 15, 20 minutes sitting right there. And this has all come down since then. So that was Wednesday around um, maybe 3.30 or so. And now it's Friday, 12.30. And that <laughs> lid I found on a stick behind me and I shoved it in the side of the structure and on Wednesday it was still there. But, uh, but this has all come down. And on another note, this big arch right here, that used to sit in front of the tree. I noticed this a couple weeks ago or last week. It used to be leaned up and balanced sitting between my eyes and the tree and somehow it's been taken out and shoved in behind the tree. So I can show you some comparison uh, photos of that. I made a small photos of that. I made a small video on that and I just haven't put it out yet. Uh, but I thought I'd just mention that right here. So might be something happening here. Let's see. Hey this is also interesting. I walked by this structure two days ago as well and now it's knocked down. So two two structures have been altered in the last two days so I wonder if this is a monthly thing a lunar cycle thing it's connected with the phases of the moon perhaps that's been suggested uh, spring seasons weather who knows but let's go check up on the triple structures down the ridge here. All right, the triple structures look good down there I'm not gonna go down I was just there yesterday afternoon and I don't see any changes from from this vantage point. Now I have looked all around this forest, spent about the last hour looking at as many big pine trees in this whole area around that broken pine and I can't see any place where those other two large long pieces of pine were stripped off a tree which I guess adds to the mystery. Maybe it was brought in from even farther away. So I've walked maybe a half a kilometer that way and I've looked across both sides of this plateau here and it's a mystery. I'm going to keep looking around. I'll keep my eyes open for it for sure. But uh, I, <laughs> I can't see where it's come from, where they have come from. So for what it's worth, I may have to get home soon. All right, I'll keep you updated folks. Take care. Hope you're having a great Friday. Bye.